Well, hello and welcome. And yes, after over three weeks away, I'm back in Wales. Hello again. I've just arrived. It's around eight o'clock. The sun's just coming up. And it's freezing. I've parked here in Pont Rida then at the Reese Lynn car park. And the good thing about this car park, it's free as well. So I'm not gonna stand around too long because it's freezing. I'm gonna make my way up the mountain behind me. But on the way back, I will have a look at Pont Rida then and Richard Burton's birthplace. Despite the cold, it is good to be back. So this walk, it's only going to be a leisurely stroll to show you some of the beautiful countryside in South Wales. I'm actually only four miles away from the M4. The walk I'm doing is called the Pen Rees Walk. I may come back and do it in more detail on my walk-in channel, but the purpose of this video is just to take you with me and soak up some of the beautiful views on this crisp, very crisp winter's morning, We're about uh, just over a week before Christmas. So let's get started. I'll see you on the top of the mountain and we should get really nice views of the Avon Valley itself and Pontry de Ven, the village. This area is really popular with mountain biking. There's like three or four vans already here with bikes on. Anyway, at the end of the car park, there's some information. The car park itself is the site of the old Pont de Ven railway station, which closed in 1964. And I think Rhys Lynn, I'm not a Welsh speaker, so I apologize if I'm wrong, but I'm sure I read somewhere that it means Reese's Lake. Am I right? If I'm wrong or you know the correct answer, put it in the comments below. I apologise. I'm sure I read somewhere on the Avon Forest Park website that means Reese's Lake. So, onwards. last time I was here it was so different it was in the height of summer and everything was so green but now many of the trees have lost their leaves and this browns and it greys it's nice though nice and rugged Well, just over a week ago, I was in New York and Las Vegas. I love those cities, but it's good to be back. And this is so, so different. It's hard to believe now, when you walk up the Avon Valley from Pont Rue de Ven, that this area used to be really heavily industrialized, especially looking at the scenery. This heyday was in the 19th century. I mentioned Richard Burton was born in the village, but there must be something in the water because Anthony Hopkins lived near here. And most recently, the actor Michael Sheen was born only a few miles away. So that's great. The path I was going to take is cut off. Tree felling. He told me earlier 
Anyway, let's continue down the valley. Unfortunately, that path was closed and I was walking down the valley and this road continues for quite a distance, but there's no route up the mountain. I wanted to go up there. And because of that closure, I can't. So what I think I'll do, it was a circular route and I was going anti-clockwise. If I go back to the car park, maybe I can go up the other side. Right, Bear Grylls would be proud of me. Look at my, look at my map. <laughs> look at that. So that path was blocked. So if I go back there and go up this route, professional. So I'm back here again where the path was blocked. But if I go the other way, down there, hopefully I can go up the clockwise way. So I'll get back to you now when there's a view. <laughs> Will I get up there? Well, luckily this side of the path is open and I'm beginning to climb the hillside and I'm getting great views over Pontry de Ven itself. You can see the old aqueduct down there. That dates from 1825. It carried water to the old Oakwood ironworks. In a previous video, somebody goes, oh, it's not an aqueduct, it's a viaduct. Wrong. There's no water there now, but it was built to carry water. So it's an aqueduct. There's a famous photograph of Richard Burton walking across that. I stuck it in the previous video. I'll stick it in again, because I like it. Here it is. But for me, upwards. Well, there is a second bridge and that is a viaduct. It's the old railway bridge, which was in use until 1972. They used it to carry coal from the valleys down to Port Talbot. The higher up I get, the colder and windier it gets. And you can see by the frost, it hasn't melted up here. Look at that. So I'm actually in the woods for the first time. Well, I actually made it to the top. And you can see down the valley that way. Unfortunately, that way is too many trees. So as promised, I'm going to go back down into the town, have a quick look at the viaduct and Richard Burton's house. Let's go. I was going to go that way, but that area is fenced off as well. Look. So back the way we came, I think. I forgot to mention, this route along the top of the ridgeway is known as the Cistercian Way and it linked the old monasteries 
like Tintin, Margam, and along it were many chapels and places for rest and prayer. I could do with a, a rest now. Not so much the prayer, but the rest and a cup of tea. <laughs> So as I make my way back into town, like all those cheesy programs on TV, it's time to look back at 2022. It was an okay year. We managed to get away a few times. Unfortunately, Mel couldn't come to America with me, which was a shame. And we both caught COVID this year as well. <laughs> but apart from that, it was good. <laughs> Looking forward to next year, I think Mel will be joining me more on my trips. So you'll see more of Mel. A cheerful face for a change and less moaning. Look how clear the water is. Back in the 19th century, it probably would have been black with pollution and coal dust and things like that. Well, I'm crossing the old bridge in a far less glamorous way than Richard Burton. But if he was doing it in this weather, he'd be wrapped up too. So I'm just coming up to Richard Burton's old house. People actually live there, so I'm not going to stand outside for too long. And next to it is a sign. Richard Burton isn't the only famous person from the town. So it's this one here, the little porch outside. Richard Burton, born November 10th, 1925. So it's not just Richard Burton that was born here, it was these as well. And it's quite a small town. What's better after a few weeks away in America is to come back to Wales and explore the Avon Valley and Pontry de Ven, the birthplace of Richard Burton. And like me, he went to America, but he became a rich, successful, Hollywood actor. I just spent all my money in a casino. <laughs> but there again, I do have my own Elizabeth Taylor in Melissa. But she doesn't drink so much. <laughs> anyway, if you want to see more of this area, the Avon Valley, there's some videos coming up next. And myself and Melissa will be back in future videos. And we'll see you in one of those. Bye. Mm -hmm.